Welcome back to Marketing School. Today I will show you a hack on how to use the free MailChimp version to build fully automated email cadences for your nurture streams. I also create a step-by-step -step guide with screenshots, so don't worry about taking notes. I'll it in the description. Let's jump in. I assume you already have a MailChimp account. One of the features we cannot use is are the multi-step automation and user journeys. But this is great for outlining and illustrating your nurture stream. This is the logic of how the entire process or construct in MailChimp will work. So we will have a tag that triggers the campaign. And then a delay until we send an email. The next step is then a new tag here and another delay and a second email. And you guessed it, we then have another tag as a trigger, with a delay in sending an email. You see the tag is received second email. I used past tense to help me organize the tags. This will make sense in just a second. Now let's take a look at how we can use this in MailChimp. In the dashboard we go to campaigns, all campaigns, and create a new campaign. I will not go through the step-by-step -step on how to set up an email in this tutorial. It's very intuitive anyways. The important part is this. When you get to the settings, we need to set up the trigger. So the trigger will be three days after the tag has been added. The tag in this case is new lead. Let's go back to the flowchart. Tag is new lead. We wait three days and then send the email. And now this is the most important part for the process to work. It is to assign a second tag after the email has been sent. In our example, this tag is received first email. So this is where the magic happens. In the email campaign settings, we can see that I picked a post send action of assigning another tag. The step is add first email received. Again, this is the most crucial part because this tag will now trigger the next email. In MailChimp, we can only send one email per campaign with a free version. So we need to create for each of the emails its own unique automation. So we go back and create a new campaign for the second email. But this time, the delay is again three days but the tag is received first email. And then we add the third tag received second email as the post send action. This will then be used again as the trigger for the next email. Looking back one more time into the flowchart, we have received first email tag, we wait three days, we send the next email and then add another tag. This journey can go on and on and on. But you always have to keep in mind that you create one step automation with a trigger and post send action. Almost done. We still need to get those people into MailChimp. Of course we can use the MailChimp built in forms, but those come with the cost of MailChimp branding with a free plan. So what can we do? We can use a third party integration tools, Zapier. I prepared this already. In this example, the lead is coming through a HubSpot signup, but it can be really almost anything. Zapier has many form and CRM integrations. After you set up your trigger, for example HubSpot or Gravity Forms, you need to choose Add or Update a Subscriber in MailChimp as the action. Simply then log into your account and select the audience. With the free version you only have one available audience, that's why we need to add the tags. When setting up the action we need to pay attention to mainly two things. One, the double opt-in. I highly encourage you to use double opt-in, but let's talk about what this means in the settings here. If you for example use HubSpot or any other CRM that manages your subscribers, then you must choose false. False means that MailChimp assumes that you already have double opt-in consent. On the other hand, if you select true, MailChimp will first send out an automated email to ask for consent. Let me repeat this, true means MailChimp will send an opt-in confirmation. False means consent has been given already and the person is ready to be marked too. Moving on, we do want to update existing contacts. But now the second important part, assign the new subscriber the tag to trigger the campaign in MailChimp. And that's the main reason why we need Zapier, because we need to somehow assign a MailChimp tag to a contact that has been created outside of MailChimp. One last thing, I recommend sending an automated email through the platform that collects the information. In our example, HubSpot. Mainly for the reason to have a real-time immediate response. Through Zapier the integration is a little delayed. That really means that MailChimp sends the second email of your nurture stream strategy. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like the video so I know to create more content like this. Did you know that you can retarget people on LinkedIn based on video views? Learn how to do this in the next video.